given its title, you'd expect the majority of those within the Star Wars galaxy to perish at the blade of a lightsaber or the barrel of a blaster. However, for over the millennia, billions of citizens succumbed to excruciating and downright awful afflictions. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the top 10 deadly diseases and vicious viruses. Number 10. Cancer You don't need me to tell you how devastating cancer is. It sadly kills around 8 million people every year right here on Earth. So you can imagine the disease's mortality rate in a galaxy 120,000 light years in scale. One rare yet extremely deadly form of cancer was Collie Syndrome, which came into existence following the destruction of Taris, affecting the descendants of its survivors. Number 9. Grey Rot Grey Rot was a plague which caused its infected victim's skin to turn grey and scabrous until it eventually cracked and ulcerated, leading to an excruciating death only a few days later. The disease was curable if treated to, in its early stages, with Bacta treatment. However, in one ABY, a much needed vaccine was delivered to moisture farmers across Tatooine who were infected by the bite of womp rats. Number 8. Pyroliosis If you thought grey rot was awful, then prepare to be shocked. Induced by inhaling the dust of the mineral xenium, pyroliosis ate the body from within, destroying the respiratory systems of humanoids like acid. To no surprise, the aptly named fire lung was extremely painful. Number 7. Wasp Fever Unlike the aforementioned plagues and illnesses, the larvae of a fever wasp bite or sting would grow within its host, feeding on their brain cells. Over the course of 3-4 to four days, the victim experienced dementia and severe seizures and spasms. Those bitten were already considered dead. As a result, their bodies were burned to prevent the larvae from hatching and spreading further. Number 6. Death Seed Not too dissimilar from fever wasp larvae, the death seed plague was spread by parasitic drocks, which attached themselves to a host to feed off their life force, all while remaining undetected. They done so by mimicking the host's electrochemical fields and tissue composition. What's more, Drugs grew and became more intelligent with each host they consumed. If a victim somehow managed to survive the plague's initial symptoms, so basically 30 minutes, their skin rapidly decayed. Even Bacta therapy couldn't halt the deadly disease. In fact, the healing provided a renewed source of energy for the drug. The first recorded outbreak of the Death Seed occurred several centuries before the Battle of Yavin and quickly tore through the populace of many worlds. Thanks to Supreme Chancellor Anwes Edicus, the disease eventually burned out. Unfortunately, the final death toll was estimated to be in the billions. Number 5. Smashbone Fever Smashbone Fever was a disease that acted exactly as it sounds. That's right, a being's ligaments would tear violently, smashing the bones when they ruptured caused by a microorganism that was neither bacteria nor a virus, smashbone fever proved fatal around 50% of the time, even when treated with muscle relaxants. There was no cure for the disease, meaning it could reappear after remission later in life. Number 4. The Krytos Virus Designed in 7 ABY by General Ivor Derrico under the orders from Director of Imperial Intelligence is an assert, the Krytos virus killed millions of aliens on Coruscant. It done so by destroying the victim's body one cell at a time until their flesh fell apart completely. The virus did not destroy pain receptors however, resulting in an agonising death. Following a 12 day incubation period, the Krytos virus entered into a one week debilitating process, which consisted of seven stages. Firstly, the subject began to feel slightly ill, then the victim became more fatigued and would often stare into space. In the third stage, their skin began to sag and weaken. This was followed by the appearance of black boils all over the body, including the tongue. 
The black boils began to break open during the fifth stage, exposing cracked flesh. Dementia then settled in as the pain neared its peak. Finally, in the seventh and final stage, the victim's skin either liquefied or fell off completely, depending on their race. Number 3. Ruse Disease Ruse Disease was one of the deadliest afflictions in the galaxy far, far away. I mean, it had to be to top the Kratos virus. But what made it so deadly? Well, once infected by the Ruse germ agent, the human's health would deteriorate until three days later. If not cured within that time frame, the body would disintegrate within seconds. To no surprise, the disease was first tested as a biological weapon by the Galactic Empire during the Mavon conflict. However, it eliminated the Imperial troops as well as the targeted rebels, and so was never used again. Such a mistake never stopped Governor Kung of Ton Tomb on Rune, who unleashed the disease on the pastoral Umbu province, inflicting himself in the process. Thankfully, a cure was later developed by Nils Yom. Number 2. The Blue Shadow Virus In its natural form, the Blue Shadow Virus was a waterborne virus which spread like a plague in the galaxy for many years. Though it was eradicated prior to the Clone Wars, Dr. Nouveau Vendée of the Confederacy of Independent Systems re-engineered the Blue Shadow Virus on Naboo in an airborne form. The affliction proved fatal only 48 hours following infection, and was considered incurable. That was until a rare plant only found on the planet Ayego, the Reek Saru, was synthesised to form an antidote. Before we uncover the deadliest disease or virus, let's take a look at some honourable mentions. Honourable mention number one, Aphlaceria. Spread through airborne bacterium, Aphlaceria was a disease which began with a head cold, only to mutate into raging fevers and severe dehydration which could kill if left untreated. It was pronounced extinct after a cure was found hundreds of years before the Galactic Civil War. However, Aphlaceria resurfaced to decimate Coruscant. Man, the Coruscanti had it pretty rough. Honourable mention number 2, Brain Raw Plague. Brain Rot Plague, also known as Lodorvian Brain Plague and Brain Worm Rot, was an extremely deadly affliction found in the bloodstreams of humans, Nymoidians, Anamids, and Wall Cabochites. Brain Rot Plague attacked the brain and central nervous system to kill its victim in a short period of time. The disease was unleashed during the height of the Clone Wars, at the behest of General Grievous. The biological weapon quickly wiped out the wee male sector, destroying the entire human population and clone troopers of the Republic's Grand Army. Honourable mention number 3. Bloodburn The precise cause of bloodburn was unknown, however, as a result of space travel, the rare, incurable, chronic and often terminal illness infected Starship pilots. Particularly young pilots would experience intense fevers that resulted in overheating to the point of death. Honourable mention number 4. The Kandorian Plague The Kandorian Plague was yet another airborne affliction which was extremely contagious to humans, leading to a swift and agonising death. It wiped out as much as two thirds of city populations during the Republic Dark Ages. What's more, in a mere few hours, the Kandorian Plague killed hundreds of thousands in Caliph City. Number 1. Aeorf 6 To me, the prospect of melting from the inside out doesn't sound fun in any capacity. That's right, Aeorf 6 was a biologically engineered necrotic virus that, when inhaled, liquefied the lungs before spreading out to the rest of the body. The gas was ineffective against those who possessed artificial respirators, but that didn't stop the horrific deaths of numerous humans and aliens across the galaxy. In fact, Emperor Palpatine became infected with Air 6, though he managed to survive through his connection to the dark side of the Force. Lord Vader, of course, was a-okay.
So there we have it, the top 10 deadly diseases and vicious viruses. Were there any that I missed? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and for more Star Wars related content keep a lock to here. To the Kangasans. While the Clone Wars came to an end in 19 BBY, Andor's rebellious streak continued. In fact, his draw to anarchist movements that continued to defy Imperial decree caught the eye of General Draven. The fledging rebel alliance relied heavily upon covert operatives to halt Imperial operations. Due to his years of law bending, Cassian was perfect for these discreet acts of sabotage, espionage, and assassination.